Welcome to today's session about your on-campus accommodation options here at Deakin. My name is Marianne Bailey and I'm the CEO of Deakin Residential Services. Throughout this session, Deakin Res staff and residents will share information about your on-campus accommodation options here at Deakin, ensuring you discover all of the benefits and opportunities that await you when you make your move and get into the heart of it with a move into Deakin Res. You will see we're extremely proud to provide a safe, engaging and supportive environment for you as you transition from high school to tertiary study. A home that allows you to thrive both academically and personally, all made possible thanks to our world-class facilities, award-winning community values of respect and our exceptional residential experience. Deakin Residential Services welcomes over 2,900 students each year across our four physical locations. The Melbourne Burwood campus, Geelong Waterfront and Warm Ponds campuses, and our Warrnambool campus. Each are conveniently located where you will be walking distance of all campus facilities, university support services, and public transport. We are extremely proud to be industry leaders in student accommodation. And this is shown by the awards we have won. We've been recognised internationally, within the Australian and New Zealand industries, as well as at Deakin, being recipients of Deakin's Vice-Chancellor's Awards. Our most important measure of success, however, comes from the feedback and information provided by our students and residents through our Student Experience Survey. We are very proud and happy that not only do students like living with us, with 92% of residents saying it was good or very good, they would also recommend living on res to other students. I'm now going to pass you on to your general manager, who will share with you what you can expect from your new home. Thanks, Marion. My name is Cam Baker, and I'm the general manager here in Geelong. When it comes to your new home here at the waterfront, here are a few things that you can expect. Our on-campus accommodation really is a place for everybody. A place where you can thrive both personally and academically. Before too long, you will feel happy, healthy and connected with each other, our team and the broader community. And we do this through our community values of respect and our belong, balance and broaden program. In fact, we consistently hear from our residents that they feel safe, supported and connected during their stay with us. Our online induction completed by all residents prior to check-in is a vital first step in ensuring you feel empowered and informed. Then when you arrive, someone really friendly will welcome you and show you around. Carefully selected and trained volunteer residential leaders live within each residential community and round the clock security and reception staff mean that there's no need to worry if you arrive late or happen to lock yourself out. Now once you've unpacked, our extensive orientation and transition programs will help you get to know your surroundings, meet new people and make lifelong friends. Each trimester, over a hundred events will be on offer and you can be assured a variety of events will be available to choose from. This nurturing environment will help you thrive. You will also experience the fantastic sense of belonging and pride that our residents have when living with us on campus via our inter-campus college events that have had a long history of participating in sporting, academic and cultural competitions. As a waterfront resident, you'll be part of the Broome College and have the chance to mix with residents from our Geelong Warren Ponds Colleges. These include Alfred Deakin, Barton, Parks College and more recently, William Yellick. Our on-campus accommodation is also incredibly convenient. Your walking distance of campus facilities and university support services. And you're well connected to public transport. In fact, you can utilise the free inter-campus shuttle bus that will take you to the Geelong Warren Ponds campus. Better still, once classes are over, you'll have plenty of time to explore the local area or even heading out for a trip to the footy, a trip into the city, a surf, or a walk along Eastern Beach. And with a view like absolutely no other and a friendly and relaxed vibe, it is a place where you will feel connected, safe in a diverse community, and it is certainly the place where you will make lifelong friends. But don't just take it from me. Let's see some of our residents on campus enjoying the fantastic facilities at Waterfront.
I'm going to talk to you more about your options here at the Geelong Waterfront Campus, including your room option, what it's like to live on campus, the community you'll become a part of when you call Deakin home, and how to apply. But before we get to that, I would like to start by doing an acknowledgement of country. As we gather for this meeting, physically dispersed and virtually constructed, let us take a moment to reflect on the meaning of place, and in doing so, recognise the various traditional lands on which we do our business today. Deakin would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which our university campuses are based. The Wadawurrung people of the Kulin Nation on whose country our Geelong campuses are located. The Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation on whose country our Burwood campus is located. And the Peak Wurrung people of the Ma Nation on whose country our Warrnambool campus is located. I myself am located on Wadawurrung country. And on behalf of us all, I pay our respects to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander traditional custodians, elders and ancestors of all the lands from which you may be joining our gathering today. I express our gratitude for their care of country, which continues to sustain us as it has done for millennia. Education has a long and rich heritage on this continent, which we aim to honour and reflect in the ways we teach and learn. Broham College at our Geelong Waterfront Campus comprises of Broham House and TNG House. TNG House is a postgraduate, mature age, off-campus facility in the CBD, close to the hospital, and is ideal for medical students undergoing placement or uniquely located in that area. It comprises of 33 student apartments and also has a rooftop terrace and common room with laundry facilities. Brown House, built in 2018 in the heart of the CBD, overlooking Western Beach and the Bay, has arguably the best view in Geelong. There are 412 beds in total across 11 levels and consists of shared apartments of between five to nine residents. Providing you with a private lockable bedroom, shared bathroom facilities, and a modern open plan share kitchen, living and dining space. The apartments are very open and airy with plenty of natural light and views of your surroundings. In addition to your own apartment's communal facilities, Brougham House has a breathtaking recreational common room on level 11 that includes a theatre room, quiet space, large kitchen area and an outdoor rooftop terrace with barbecue. There is also a communal laundry, plenty of study spaces and a podium with additional barbecue facilities for those summer evenings. We also have accommodation at our Geelong Warren Ponds campus. And should you wish to be considered for this alternate Geelong location, you can indicate this within your application process. There are a number of room types on offer at our other Geelong campus, including studio apartments, shared apartments, and shared townhouses. They each offer a unique living experience. And to find out more about each room type, please watch our Geelong Warren Ponds presentation or visit our website for further information. Regardless of what room type or campus you choose, you will be warmly welcomed into one of our colleges and will have the opportunity to take part in a number of sporting and community events across the year as you settle in to your new community. My dream is to become a successful businesswoman. From the age of six, I would spend hours after school and on the weekends with my dad whilst he was running his business. As I grew up, I continued to be interested in all aspects of business. It is a practical course with lots of opportunities to gain real life experience and the most useful when seeking to pursue business endeavours. The possibilities created by a Bachelor of Commerce are endless and exciting. I chose to live on Deakin Waterfront because I was moving to Geelong for university and I wanted to experience life through a different lens and experience a whole new way of living. 
Live Your Own Residence has been extremely beneficial in opportunities for independent and also collaborative studying. I've spent hours in our study rooms with other residences from my course, studying for assignments, teaching each other concepts and setting up our professional profiles. The location of Waterfront is incredible as it is in the centre of Geelong and close to the beaches and shops, creating a way for all of the residences to socialise and get together during their break. No matter what room type or style of accommodation you choose, you can rest assured that your weekly accommodation fee is all inclusive as simplicity is really the key. There are no tricky contracts or sharing of bills to negotiate your way through. Your utilities, Wi-Fi via the Deakin network, furniture and even common area cleaning is all taken care of. Our cleaning team will take care of the common areas, bathroom and living areas. However, your own bedrooms are your responsibility. And yes, we do do mid-year room inspections. In addition to all of this, there is an abundance of residential programming and events that are exclusive to you during your time on residences. And it has never been more affordable to live at Geelong Waterfront. There are plenty of recreational spaces, common areas, study spaces, and open landscaped outdoor social spaces for you to enjoy with your newly found friends from across our residential precinct. As you have heard, students have different reasons as to why they choose the room type that is best suited to them. To get more information on our room types, we suggest you get online and look at our virtual tours. Here, you are able to look through each of our accommodation options. It is important that you select the accommodation style that is right for you and that you can call home. The layout of your bedroom may not be the only consideration that you may have. And to ensure that we are catering to specific needs of individuals, we are delighted to offer specific living and learning environments that include designated single gender, quiet apartments, postgraduate, mature age apartments. You can note these preferences on your application for our placements team to review. Our amazing team are here to help you whatever time of the day or night, and we have extensive support in place for all of our residents. None more important than our 24 hour a day, seven day a week reception and security team. So there is always a friendly face or person at the end of the phone, no matter when you do need them. In addition to this, our fantastic campus life team, with the support of our wonderful residential leaders, are there to ensure that you truly feel a part of our community through the range of events and engagement opportunities, but also being able to support you through times where you may be missing home or just need a friendly ear to listen. They also have access to a range of support services, both at Deakin and externally. As always, there are so many more people that work tirelessly behind the scenes and our operational teams that look after maintenance, finance, administrative functions, as well as myself, that are really looking forward to assisting you during your time on residences. When I was in secondary school, I realised that I had a knack for drawing and wanted to take it seriously. So when I finished school, I took up a foundation class where I studied art. While I loved painting on canvases and sketching portraits, I realised that it wasn't really a good fit for me. Then I discovered architecture where I quickly fell in love with building things. The idea of designing something that complements one of our most basic needs just got me hooked. I would still be able to maintain the creative freedom and instead of on canvases, my artworks would be built. I was drawn to Deakin because of its location. Who would pass out of studying and living near the waterfront? Also because Deakin has a strong architecture program with a mixture of both conceptual and hands-on work, which I really love. Whenever I'm on campus, I'm almost always at the studio. 
But besides that, I also go to the computer labs a lot to use the onboard software like Photoshop and Rhino. I go to one ponds frequently as well to play soccer on the artificial pitch. I chose to live on res because being the unpunctual person that I am, I wanted to live close to uni. I also wouldn't, wouldn't need to think about transportation when I could just walk to class. Living on res has made it easy to balance my studies with life because of all the activities that DRS plans. I enjoy going to DRS plan events because there's usually free food involved and getting to socialize with people on res is just a pleasant experience. In my spare time I like to go to the skate park and take the skateboard out for a spin. I also enjoy taking walks at the botanical gardens all by the waterfront. Deakin Res Geelong delivers over 100 events and activities a year for our residents. And we are very proud of the diverse range of programs available to ensure that there truly is something for everyone. We focus on five main areas when creating our program for the year. Social and community programs, such as volunteering opportunities, blood drives, and pay it forward initiatives. Res Ball and Deacon sponsored events. Health and wellbeing, inclusive of yoga, res sport, inter-college sports, and so much more. Arts and culture, which could include res factor, movie nights, residential theatre initiatives, and our music rooms. Academic, which can include peer support opportunities, study suppers, and study spaces available to our residents. And finally, leadership through our residential leader program. We encourage our residents to take part in as many of these as possible to get the most out of their time on residences. However, it is totally up to you what you attend and how often you choose to get involved. Remembering this is all about providing you the support that you need to succeed in your endeavours while living at university. We would love to hear from you if you have any ideas of things you would like to see happening on res as well. So please drop us an email at any time. We will now watch a video about our community values of respect. I want to live in a community that supports me being me. Somewhere where people are encouraged to stand up for what they believe in. For me, the most important thing about home is feeling safe. I just want to live somewhere where I can build new networks, meet new people and share new ideas. Change has never been easy for me. What helps is a culture that embraces positivity. Deep down, I want friendship. People who can join me on this exciting journey. I want to be known, to live in a place where I am not looked at as being different to everyone else. Deakin Residential Services. We can be everything we want to be. Because we all play our part in making this a place where we all belong. While well, coming to Res is an exciting time for everyone and a start of your journey at Deakin University, we also recognise that it is the start to many, many adventures to come and like to think of it as your launch pad to your future. Studies have proven that Deakin students who live on residence for part or all of their degree achieve higher grades on average than their peers, are more likely to complete their degree, have a greater sense of belonging during their studies, make better connections during university than their peers, and also establish lifelong professional networks while living on campus. 
I'm now going to hand back to our CEO who will share some final thoughts. So now it is time to really think about what is important to you. Is it the location and the chance to live in the heart of the Deakin campus, close to public transport and everything that Deakin and the wider region has to offer? Or maybe it's our easy monthly payment that you know covers all of your living expenses, plus the added bonus of cleaning of common areas and a huge number of free activities. So all you need to think about is how much food you'll need and any social activities you would like to budget for off campus. We've also talked about the variety of room style options available to you. I encourage you to look once again at the 3D tours and our website to re-familiarise yourself with all of the options and preferences you would like to provide in your application. Applications are open now and it is a simple web-based application process, so why not jump online and apply now? It is great to get in early and not have to think about it for the rest of the year. There is no application fee and no bond required, so you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Our residences are in high demand, so the earlier you get in your application, the more chance you have of securing your spot on res. If you have any questions throughout the application process, you can contact our team who can walk you through the process. There are also some handy hints available on our website. If you have any questions about anything that you've heard today, please contact our team who are here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can send us an email or give us a call or visit our website, accommodation.deacon.com edu.au for up-to-date information including how you can visit our accommodation in person and if you'd like to see what our current residents are getting up to. Make sure you follow our social channels at Deacon Res. On behalf of my team we look forward to not only seeing your application but also welcoming you to your new home very soon. Welcome to the Accommodation Live q and I'm Ange Fragiacomo. I'm the Marketing Manager of Deakin Residential Services, and I'm thrilled to have you with us today as we explore and chat about all things accommodation. Today, I'm joined by our fantastic panel. We've got Cam ba Baker, who's our General Manager in Geelong, Gabby Tobin, who's our General Manager in Warrnambool, and Sam Johnson, who's our Student Experience and Engagement Manager. Hopefully, you've already watched one of our information sessions or checked out our videos and are joining us because you've got some questions or simply want to know more about Deacon Res. The focus of this Q&A is to answer all of your questions and provide you with a better understanding of our wonderful community and what to expect. If you'd like to ask a question, please type your question into the Q&A section in the question panel on this page. We'll do our best to provide as many answers as we can and sometimes you'll get a verbal response from the presenters or at other times you'll get a written response from our team working behind the scene. If um, at the end of our live Q&A, we've got any unanswered questions, um, our team are also on web chat. And at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll notice a little yellow chat now icon and you can click on that after this session to be connected with our team. 
So uh, let's let's get started. Uh, to kick off, the first question we've got is, what are the benefits of living on campus? So Sam, I might pass that one to you. Yeah, sure. Um, great question and nice way to start. So I suppose um, the benefits, uh, there are a number of benefits. Um, the main things would be that if you live on campus, you'll be connected, supported, and it's also a really convenient place to be. So um, I'll talk a bit about that being, we have a lot of programs to help our residents um, connect with other residents and to really get um, to, to feeling comfortable on campus. Um, so there's some really great events that will be happening for you throughout your orientation. Um, and then also throughout your time on residence run by our campus life teams and our student residential leaders as well. So you'll really get to know your fellow residents and feel comfortable on campus. Um, there's a whole range of supports in place. We've got 24 seven reception staff, um, security team looking after um, people's comfort on campus. And as I mentioned, those residential student leaders um, and campus life teams and general managers who you can see on the screen here, all working together to support our residents. Um, and the convenience of living on campus, you know, you're never more than five minutes walk away from your classes in the morning. Um, you can pop home and do some laundry or grab a snack in between classes. Um, study um, areas and you know great facilities so all of those reasons um, kind of come together to a really great package for students living on campus. Awesome thanks Sam. The next question we've got is can we choose who we live with? Gab would you like to answer that one? Yeah sure Ange thanks and hello everybody that's joined us today. Um, we certainly can take preferences for where students would like to live and um, Cam may have something further to add after I've finished around his preference in the Geelong space, but we certainly can take preferences from students if they'd like to live in a particular type of accommodation. Um, we do encourage first years particularly to just look at um, getting to know new people. That's part of the beauty of living on res is it coming for a once in a lifetime experience of living with a whole lot of different people. And it's often good to perhaps step outside your comfort zone a little bit and um, just take a random room in a, in a random unit or in a, in a space that you're not really planning to be just so that you open yourself up to, to meeting new people and new experiences. But, you know, if people are passionate about wanting a particular type of unit, a studio, as opposed to a shared, un, a shared room in a shared unit, um, we certainly can look at those preferences and work with uh, residents to try and accommodate their needs. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, to complement uh, Gab from a Geelong perspective here, so absolutely through the application process, um, you will find whether it is living learning preferences or any other preferences that you can share with us. Um, we will look obviously to review those. Um, obviously, we can't guarantee those preferences. Um, and again, it's an opportunity for us um, to be aware and to um, to put you into a, an environment to help you um, flourish from a, an academic perspective. Um, but again, from that shared accommodation, it's an opportunity to be in a, a new community and new environment and meet some amazing new people here on uh, on res whether it be Warrnambool, Geelong or Burwood. Thanks Cam. Can you, a um, question actually has come through that's in addition to this and they're, they're asking um, around the gender balance how do we manage that and um, courses so can you talk us a bit, uh, talk to us a little bit about um, some of the course li living and learning environments we have in Geelong? Yeah, absolutely. So again, um, through the application process, you will see there are living learning um, environments. So we'd like to get an understanding of what you are looking to study. And if you do have a preference to be in an environment with those, it'll be studying um, a similar um, similar course um, to you. Um, and then also from a gender request, um, if there is a preference um, or a specific um, way that we can work with and help. Um, the more information that we can be aware of through that application process, um, again, to help um, ensure that we make the environment when you do join us here on RES um, to the best of, um, best of our abilities without obviously making any guarantees in that space. Great. Gab, I'm going to flip back to you. The next question that's come in is, um, I've deferred until next year, so when should I apply for accommodation? Sure, so um, you can apply any time now um, if you would like to join us in 2023 after deferring for 2022, applications are open now. Um, it depends whether you actually applied to live on res this year or, or not, that 
uh, we will have your application from 2022 if you did defer your accommodation offer. But if you haven't, you've just deferred your academic course offer and you're looking to join us in 2023 to, to live on res at any of our campuses, you can put your application in as soon as you like and uh, one of the wonderful teams at uh, Warrnambool Geelong or Burwood will be in touch as to next steps. Yeah, that's right. And, and just to add to that, uh, those students who have deferred uh, most likely will get an offer before the VTAC rounds in January. So we are in a position, if you have got a deacon offer, that we can assess your application earlier. So if you are in that boat and you're a deferred student, really encourage you to get your application in um, as soon as you know that you would like to live on res and then we can we can work with you to, to meet and to, to offer. Um, the next one is age ranges. So Sam, are you across, um, yeah, what age, like you know, what are the age ranges who stay on campus? Yeah, I'll, I'll start with this and then I'll throw across to the general managers if um, there's some more to add. So um, it's quite a broad um, range of ages. Um, and for the most part, we're looking at 18 plus um, from time to time. Someone can negotiate to um, start a little earlier, um, but it's very much up to the local area and availability. But most of our residents are 18 plus. Um, and um, say, for example, in Geelong, we've got um, a separate site where mature age students will be uh, will be living. And then uh, at other campuses, and um, again, I'll throw to the general managers, but um, I imagine that we would be placing um, older students if they were studying mature age or postgrad um, in, in amongst each other as well. But um, Cam or Cab, did you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, to complement that, obviously, from a postgraduate or mature and or mature age um, learning that um, TNG is absolutely one of those opportunities. And then also, um, we do have um, some shared facilities at both Warren Ponds and Waterfront uh, for those um, mature age, again, looking to be in a, a living environment with those in a similar um, age bracket to themselves that we will um, accommodate that. Um, the team also um, will be able to share with you that there are some obviously dates for the um, under 18 when you must be um, 18 and over to, um, to ensure your application um, can proceed um, to ensure that we can provide the best possible independent living environment for, uh, for adults here on RES. Great. And I'll just sort of add as well, we know at um, Burwood, because we attract a larger number of international students, we actually also find that we do have a greater percentage of students in that 22 to 26 range. Um, we have a lot of our international students that come and do their masters or their, their second degree with Deakin and, and choose to live on res. So yeah, we are, we are able to accommodate both um, cohorts really well and have a range of um, activities and events to, to nurture and make sure that you feel connected while you're living with us on res. Uh, next one, um, Cam, I might throw to you again, sorry. Yep. Uh, the question is, are there kitchen facilities or kitchens in our accommodation as this person loves to cook um, and would like to know what's available? Fantastic. So if we're talking from a Geelong perspective first, um, You'll be aware that we do have, or may be aware that we have studios, um, and then we also have shared accommodation or townhouses. Um, so the studios, um, if you are applying for studio, they are for trimester one, two, and three collectively, um, but then you will have uh, the opportunity to have your own cooking area for yourself, um, if you are a passionate uh, chef to be. Um, and then also from the townhouses, shared accommodation, um, absolutely. So um, full kitchens um, with fridge um, areas, cooking appliances, um, and then when you do join us, so you'll get an understanding of what you might like to bring to that kitchen environment um, to sort of help you um, help you ensure that you can continue to um, enjoy that passion here on res um, and that's consistent with across at waterfront as well our other geelong campus uh, which is all shared accommodation um, again some really really great um, setups with our, our kitchens for you to be able to be at home um, as your new home when you join us great uh, thanks, Cam. We're getting lots of really good questions about the intricacies of what our rooms actually look like and what um, features they have. The next one, Sam, is around uh, the blankets. So what do we provide in regards to um, bedding and are the blankets thick enough to cope with the Australian winter or do, they need to, do people need to bring other stuff? Yeah, so I think we would generally uh, recommend that students bring their own um, yeah, bedding and blankets and you can, you can tailor that to your own comfort and find something really comfortable for you. There are some bedding packs available for purchase um, 
at at the residences um but you know there's also they're also all really close to you know shopping amenities and that kind of thing too so recommend that as far as that bedding goes that you you bring your own and um yeah um rug up if needs be for the cold winters in australia <laughs> depends where you're coming from i suppose as to how cold it is <laughs> yeah. and i'll just add we like sam mentioned we have got those packs so they're really great for the international students and all of our accommodation is heated so um, you will be able to, you will feel nice and comfortable. Um, and even though it's cold outside, yeah, you'll, you'll feel nice and snug in your room and you'll find a good balance. I think a good um, one to add to that just as well from um, what Sam did mention with whether it be bedding or cooking equipment that obviously, you know, we encourage you to not bring the whole house to journey to res <laughs> with us. Um, but the, the, the benefit is from Warren Ponds and Waterfront, there are um, fantastic shopping facilities um, right at our doorstep so that then you can come settle in and then anything you'd like to add or purchase or if the, the winter weather does start to get to you, um, that it's easily, uh, easily options to, to have some additions. So, yeah. Thanks, Cam. Uh, the next one is around, I've got my own car, so what's the parking situation like? Uh, Gab, you're not in, so I'm going to let you answer that one. <laughs> I love car parking questions. We're a bit unique at Warrnambool, so I'll let Cam um, and Sam perhaps, or you and speak to Burwood, Cam will speak to Geelong, but at Warrnambool we're fortunate enough to have free car parking at the Warrnambool campus, so that's not a problem. There's uh, plenty of car parking available here around all of our units. Um, and there's no cost um, to park here. So we are a little bit different. I know there is um, parking permits required at the other campuses. So uh, I'll hand over to you, Cam, to speak to Waterfront um, and Warren Ponds. Yeah, absolutely. So um, from a car parking perspective at Warren Ponds, um, absolutely. So we do have car parking permits, either short term um, or throughout the whole year for your duration. Um, we do have a lot of car parking available throughout and around surrounding um, Deakin Res here in Geelong. From the waterfront is slightly different. So that is day car parking, um, which is obviously a charge that you can go online and do day by day. Um, but a really good one to share with you is that many of our waterfront um, residents who maybe don't use their car too much during the week actually do keep their car here at Warren Ponds and then utilise the shuttle bus, um, the regular shuttle bus that alternates between Waterfront and Warren Ponds on a daily occurrence so that um, those potentially that may want to utilise their car more on the weekend um, can catch the shuttle bus across here to Warren Ponds and then um, return home um, just to be able to use both the Geelong campuses um, together. Great, thanks Cam. And yeah, for Burwood, it's much the same as Warren Pond. So there is um, parking available on campus. You will re require a permit, or well, we encourage you to get a permit as it is a cheaper option. Um, and you, the, the parking is really close to the accommodation. So um, that's the same at every campus. It's, it is nice and close. You, you don't have to walk far from your car to your, to your accommodation um, if you're coming back late at night or anything like that. Um, next question is for you, Sam. So how many people would you be sharing accommodation with here at Deacon Res? Yeah, really good question. So um, I suppose that's up, up to you um, as, as a student, um, where you're going to be living and what kind of accommodation type you're interested in. So we have accommodation <clears throat> ranging from a one bedroom studio apartment, so fully self-contained, um, right through to, uh, you know, 10 to uh, 13 bedroom townhouses and shared accommodations. So in those cases, you'd have a lockable room of your own. And so that space of your own um, to, to do your study and to relax and all that kind of thing, but then also the enjoyment and vibrancy of sharing accommodation with a number of new friends, um, you know, shared, shared zones to watch um, telly and for gaming and that kind of thing or um, study work um, and also shared kitchens that you can really cook up some great things in. So um, we really encourage people to have a good look at the website um, and there's more information there about all the different types of accommodation. And it again, it depends where you're going to be studying and see what's best for you. Thanks, Sam. And I'll just add, um, Burwood's an interesting one because we've kind of got three main types of accommodation. You've got studios, which suits a person who um, really would like to live on their own, 
And then we've got shared apartments that are sort of four to six bedrooms. So they're great if you know you want to um, widen your social group a little bit, but still a little bit nervous about living with too many people. Um, and then we've got the 10, the 10 option, which is the same at Geelong. So they're great um, if you really want to maximise that multicultural, um, diverse rate, you know, meet as many people as possible um, and really broaden how many people you have in your network. Uh, the next one that's come in is around public transport. So I think this one is probably good to again throw around to each team. So Gab, I'll start with you. Do you want to discuss what um, public transport is available for students in Warrnambool and how that can and can help them get to their part-time jobs? Yeah, sure, Ange. Uh, Warrnambool is um, fortunate to have a bus that does commute into the CBD of Warrnambool uh, on the half hour Monday to Friday on, on the hour on the weekend. So it's about a 15 to 20 minute journey on um, the, the bus here. And um, it starts at seven o'clock in the morning and goes through all the way till seven o'clock at night. Um, and so that's quite a good option for those that who may not have a vehicle, uh, they can get into the CBD if that's where their part-time work is. You can also ride a bike from the Warnall campus into the CBD, that's certainly an option and DUSA do um, provide bikes here on campus if that's something that you'd like to do. Or you can also just ride up to the nearby shopping centre as well. So that's an op another option for those that don't have a car. I think the other really important benefit of Warnall is that we have four services a day back into Southern Cross in Melbourne. Um, so both to Melbourne and back to Warnable, four services on the train. Um, each day. So for those that are wanting a city fix that are a bit sick of the country and want to get into to Melbourne to watch footy or um, go to the theatre or have a shop, you can certainly do that via a day trip on public transport. Really convenient. We have our own railway station here on campus, Sherwood Park, um, and it's just a short walk up from your accommodation, pop on the train, have a day in Geelong or Melbourne and come up back again that night. So uh, yeah, lots of options here in Warrnambool. Thanks, Gab. Cam, would you like to talk about Geelong? Yeah, absolutely. So um, in addition to that shuttle bus, the free shuttle bus that alternates between Waterfront and Warren Ponds, um, here at Warren Ponds, we do have um, bus stops basically at our, our front doorstep here so that then you can utilise um, the Geelong system um, to access CBD or the surrounding areas. Um, looking at Waterfront, um, multiple options at your doorstep. So um, literally a, a short walk to the Geelong train station. Um, again, a short walk to um, central Geelong, Mirable Street, where all of the bus um, stops, stop and start does do commence. Um, and being on the amazing waterfront um, area that you can all, if you're heading to Melbourne for the weekend, you might choose to uh, jump on a, a ferry and head to Melbourne as well. So um, multiple options available, be it at Warren Ponds uh, or Waterfront in Geelong. Great, thanks, Cam. Um, and then might just add with Geelong as well, you've got your free shuttle bus. So if you are based at the Warren Ponds campus, but do work in the Geelong CBD, um, you can utilise and, and jump on our uh, free shuttle bus to get you into, into the CBD. Uh, Burwood's also really well connected when it comes to um, public transport. There's a tram that's out the front. We also have really good bus connections between uh, Burwood where the campus is and um, Box Hill where there's a train. So lots of good options um, and lots of opportunities to obtain part-time work in and around our campuses um, that you can get to quite easily. So next question I might um, throw back to Cam. Sorry, Sam, I'll get back to you in a moment. But the next one is, um, is it possible if in Geelong to live at the Waterfront campus but attend classes in Warm Ponds? Yeah, absolutely. We've, we've found definitely... Um, there will be students that may have classes across both um, sites. So um, absolutely, if you're, once you've got an understanding of what you're potentially looking to study, um, which one may be more suitable for you, but absolutely we do have um, multiple residents, many residents who live at Waterfront may have a preference with lifestyle, um, living right on the water, but then still will utilise that free shuttle bus again um, to be able to, to jump between. Um, or if your course load does have face-to-face uh, -face learning at both sites, then again, that shuttle bus can come into play but absolutely um, put it in your preferences obviously and then when you do apply um, whether it be for for Warren Ponds or Waterfront um, it, it's all about what uh, what your interests are and what will help you thrive um, academically living here with us on res. Thanks Cam. So Sam question for you what type 
types of support services are available for our students who stay on campus? Yeah, so there's a big range of supports available, um, both from us at RES um, and also from Deakin more broadly. So on campus from the, um, the student residences, we have our campus life team who um, uh, support as far as, um, you know, social engagement alongside our student residential leaders, putting on a great um, range of events and helping um, our students to get to know each other and have as good a time as possible on campus. But they also support a lot of wellbeing issues that may come up from time to time, um, help you access um, the services that are available and also just make sure, you know, you're connected in with the services you need from Deacon's point of view there's um, study support um, student well-being support through our um, on-campus counseling that's available um, to students and also our medical centers that are available to students um, there's a range of financial support opportunities in place as well um, through Deakin and um, yeah there's a lot of information on the website about all of these things I think Deakin students are, are really well supported across the board and certainly our staff um, on the residences, just make sure that the students are connected into those supports as they need to be and that they can share that information. Um, either of the GMs, did you want to add anything to that? Yeah, and I think um, from a Geelong perspective, to obviously a, a major advantage for us here at, at Deakin Res is a 24 hour, seven day a week reception team. So um, a comfort of potentially moving away um, for the first time from home and joining us in your new home, that that peace of mind um, is that there is always someone available here 24 seven, just a phone call away. Um, and as that first point of call to then um, through to our campus life team or as, as all the points that Sam mentioned, help us um, be able to, to refer as required and, and, and support. And just in addition to that, Sam and Cam as well, I think the security services is offered at all the different campuses too is a fantastic support uh, service to all students. So they have the peace of mind and comfort that there's always 24-7 um, security available uh, to support anybody who may need it. Um, and security here at Warrnambool particularly do a really good job in offering um, escorts back from the train station that I mentioned before. If you do come back in at night um, in the middle of the winter and it's pitch black, security will be there to make sure that you just um, have that peace of mind of getting back onto res um, in um, a really stress-free way. So uh, yeah, I think that 24 seven security as well is a really good um, offering for students coming on to live on campus at any of our um, locations. Excellent, thanks everyone for contributing to the answer there. Uh, next one is, uh, there, someone is asking if we can explain what a bond is and um, is it part of the accommodation? So Gab, would you like to explain that one for us? Yeah, sure, thanks Ange. Really fortunate at Deakin Residential Services that we don't uh, ask for bonds um, at any of our campuses. So um, all you need to be able to do is just pay one month in advance. So um, you'll pay your first invoice uh, before you arrive um, and then uh, you'll continue just to pay one month in advance as you live with us for whatever period of time you've chosen with your lease. So that's really another um, another good attribute, I think, for um, living on res is that you don't have to come up with bond plus a month's rent as you often have to do out in the um, mainstream world. Um, and just another great benefit of living on res, um, unlike, you know, when you're moving away from home for the first time, it is all a bit daunting. You just have to pay um, your rent for the month and everything's covered in that. So all your utilities are covered, um, all your support programs are covered in that rental payment. Um, so it really is a really convenient and easy way to ease yourself out of home and into the big wide world out there. You don't have to worry about paying for your internet or um, gas bill or electricity bill or anything like that. You just pay your month of rent in advance um, and you're all set to go. So have some really good um, benefits there of living on res as well financially. Excellent, thanks Gab. Now I'm noting we've got about five minutes to go. So we're gonna do a bit of fast fire questions for the last five, because there's still heaps coming in. So thank you everyone for being so proactive and um, engaging with us today. So the next one is a fire to you, Cam. I'm in year 12. Will it be too late to apply if I wait for an official deacon offer um, or should I apply now? 
Yes, as um, was mentioned before, um, applications are now open. Obviously, if you're year 12, um, you're most likely or you will be waiting for either the VTAC early offers, uh, which is um, the third week of December, on the 21st of December, um, or um, early mid-January for offers. So um, you put an application in, but as was mentioned before with um, any applications that are now open, is that we would um, verify against, obviously, a Deakin University enrolment, so you don't quite have that quite yet, um, but obviously at a, um, as part of the, I guess the process and the selection criteria is, is when you do look at the applications as well. So um, yeah, absolutely. Um, you enjoy your year 12 and obviously wait for the offers, um, but at the same time, um, yeah, you can start looking at options that might be suitable for you. That's right. And just to add to what Cam said, it is free to apply. So we do encourage if you're, you know, thinking Deacon might be a good place for you, get your app in now. The sooner you get it in, the higher you are in our um, list and we do go through them one by one. So, um, yeah, really encourage you just put that up in. You're not under any obligation to accept your offer, but at least you're putting yourself into the mix and giving you a chance to be offered once you get your Deacon offer. Uh, next one is around financial aid for international students. So, Gab, I'm going to let you um, respond to that one, please. Sure. Uh, scholarships office, rapid fire question. So I'll give you a short, sharp response. Please touch base with the scholarships office. It's all available on the web. Um, there really is some good support offerings for both domestic but um, also international students. So check out the uh, scholarships page on the web. Thank you, Sam. What happens during holidays? Do I keep paying rent or do I go home? And if I go home, can I leave my stuff or come back to the same room? Yeah, so um, through uh, trimester times and trimester one and two, you would um, keep paying rent throughout that period. So even including the holidays, um, you can go home for the holidays and leave your um, things in your room. That's totally fine. And then come back. Uh, people can go back home for weekends, depending where, you're, where your home is based as well. But yes, you would keep paying rent throughout that period. Excellent. And um, yeah, just to add, yeah, you don't have to move out. So, so, so someone, do you keep your same room? Absolutely. So when you book and accept your lease, um, you'll accept it for a period of time and you will stay in that room. Um, sometimes we do consolidate over T3, um, but that would always be discussed with you to make sure that um, we're maximising people's opportunities to connect. Uh, the next one, back to you, Cam, is are we allowed visitors on res? Yes, indeed. So there's a process across all campuses where you can submit through an online portal um, once you, you're checked into the system um, and you can, whether it be a, a guest um, during the day or overnight, you can request um, for that and that will be approved or declined. Um, there are some periods of time, um, such as where we're in now, which is SWAT VAC period in the lead up to exams, where we do, um, for the benefit of all of those studying and about to proceed with the exams, that we will have potentially no guest um, periods or time periods, but we make you aware of those well in advance um, and then obviously go through the, the process um, every time so that we, from a safety perspective, know who is on site at all times, um, be our residents and also guests. Thanks, Cam. Next question is around pets. And I'm gonna to throw to you, Sam, on this one. Can, can a student bring a pet to campus? Yeah, thanks. Good question. Um, unfortunately not. Um, pets can't um, come and live on campus with you, but we do um, really look for opportunities throughout the year to allow our, or give opportunities for our residents to engage with the animals, you know, be it um, through therapy dogs. We just had a session at two of our campuses last week during the study week, um, or going out to visit, you know, animal um, uh, um enclosures or, or that kind of thing. So really making sure that we do give our residents that opportunity as we know that that's a real benefit for them. Fantastic. And then I'll ask the next one. The question that's come through is from Melbourne students, is there Deacon accommodation for five days? So um, at all of our campuses, we do offer a range of long leases and short-term solutions. Uh, we encourage anyone who's moving to Deacon or their first year students, to consider the long lease first. It's definitely the best solution for you if you're looking to transition from a regional area into Melbourne or internationally. It's just gonna set you up for success. It's gonna, you're gonna be supported. You'll have opportunities to engage and meet other people um, and really thrive as you um, transition from high school to university study. If you are interested in uh, shorter leases, it, there are options at each of our campus, but it depends on uh, how we're going from occupancy. So that can change. Um, this year we've been able to offer some shorter leases, but we can't guarantee that that will be available next year. 
Um, but if it is, you just, yeah, there's two inquiry forms on our website. One is a general inquiry form and the other one is a short stay inquiry form. So if you do only want to stay for five nights, um, then you can contact us direct and we will uh, take on board your request and, um, and you know, and, and process it um, based on your requirements. So I think that that does look like um, the majority of the questions. Just before we close out, Sam, Gab and Cam, would you like to just sort of give a little close? So I'll start with you, Sam. Is there any other advice you give to that next gen of um, students out there that are co A, contemplating Deakin, but B, um, considering whether RES is the right, will be the right solution for them? Yeah, I think we've talked quite a bit about how um, living on res is a really nice transition from home into, you know, that independence of living away from home or for people moving from overseas. It's, it's a place where you're really supported. We haven't mentioned our respect values um, yet, and you'll see that all, all over our website. These are um, a, a range of values that all of our residents and staff commit to. It means that we've got people coming from a diverse range of backgrounds from uh, multiple countries all over the world. Everyone's coming together with different, um, you know, experiences, but committing to a shared um, set of values, which means that we can really set up, you know, a, a harmonious living environment and, and a place where everyone is respected and uh, valued for what they bring to the table. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Sam. Gab, what would you like to add? Yeah, sure. I think it's um, a once in a lifetime opportunity to live on res. You're not going to have the opportunity to live with, you know, multiple other people ever else in your lifetime. So from Wanderbles aspect, come and enjoy living with, you know, 110, 20 other people from all over the, um, uh, you know, all parts of Australia and a lot of internationals as well and be involved, be engaged and um, it really will be a once in a lifetime experience for you and I'm sure most uh, residents would attest to making lifelong friendships um, after having some time on res. So why wouldn't you live on res? Thanks, Gab and Cam. Yeah, perfect. I think um, I think you've mentioned community. Um, we've all mentioned community quite a quite a lot throughout this thirty minute session, and that's all what we're about is about um, providing a safe and comfortable environment for you to to flourish and and to give you the best opportunity in engaged, um, engaged, respectful environment. So um, we look forward to uh, seeing applications and hopefully having you join us next year. Yeah, thanks, Cam. And I'll just also add, um, we do find that students who live on res uh, have do better academically as well. So the nurturing environment that we provide does allow you to thrive in your studies. Um, and most residents will comment res retrospectively about the networks that they form. So residents are definitely more connected. They have more opportunities to network and which in turn helps them, you know, get that job. And um, that most important thing, which is your job at the end of your degree um, out there in the workplace. So thank you everyone for joining us today. It's been great to see so many of you interested in accommodation. And we're so glad that we were able to answer some of your questions. Um, if we haven't responded to you, either by text or verbally, the team will be online for the next sort of 10 minutes and they'll continue to provide you with written responses. Or as I mentioned earlier, our 24 seven reception teams can answer your questions at any time, either via web chat or via email. So please um, do get in touch with them. If um, something has sparked something else in you and you'd like to know more, please get in touch. Our website's also full of lots of great content. We've got 3D scans of all of our rooms. There's great blogs to read and lots of videos about each campus. So please continue to explore and learn lots about RES. Um, or follow us on our socials. It's the best way to follow our stories and you will see every day pretty much what our resis get up to and how much they're um, benefiting from the environment that we can provide. And as mentioned, apps are open. So please um, put your application in today. We can't wait to welcome you in 2023 or earlier if you're coming for T2. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at Deacon Res soon. So thank you everyone. Thank you.